Yeah, government schools. There's a new report out um, by the Urban Institute uh, that's titled Where the Kids Went. So what, what happened uh, during COVID is that uh, over the two school years following the pandemic, uh, really during the pandemic, 2020 and 2021, K through, 12 and K through 12 enrollment in schools fell by more than 1.2 million students. Um, and uh, the question is, where did these kids go? And of course, we know why this happened. This happened because public schools closed. And uh, it happened because public schools, many of them insisted on little children wearing masks, absurd and ridiculous. Um, it, um, it happened because uh, parents suddenly discovered what their kids were learning, or as the case may be, not learning, and, uh, and, and found alternatives that were better. Uh, so uh, there was a real awakening, a real awakening among parents, I think, during the pandemic to the realities of what government schools were teaching their kids and to the realities of what was going on uh, at, uh, at government schools. And uh, a lot of parents took their kids out. So in the 2021-22 uh, school year, private school enrollment was 4% uh, higher. So uh, quite a few parents moved their kids into private schools, while homeschool enrollment uh, was 30% higher. Now, of course, homeschool started with a smaller base, but still, 30% in one year is huge, humongous. That is a massive increase. So a lot of parents decided that they're better off uh, keeping the kids home and teaching them at home than they are in sending them to school, given what they're being taught in school, or given the fact that schools are closed, or given the fact that schools require their kids to have masks on, which is barbaric, to say the least. Um, so, um, you know, the uh, growth in private school enrollment was particularly large in kindergarten and early elementary grades. I think uh, uh, that's where, in particular, the mask mandates and the closures were super ridiculous. Uh, and where private schools, many private schools, stayed open. Uh, D.C. and 21 other states where you could get data um, uh, so homeschool enrollment rise dramatically. And North Carolina uh, was the one where we saw the smallest rise in, uh, in uh, homeschool enrollment. It was only 8%. But listen to these numbers. In Florida, homeschool enrollment rose by 43%. In New York, New York, homeschool enrollment rose by 65%. In Pennsylvania, by 53%. These are astronomical numbers, amazing numbers, and yeah, I mean, this is, this is phenomenal. Um, so during the pandemic, the school age population of the US also shrank. So part of the 1.2 million students not going to school is that just fewer kids, just fewer kids. But what is interesting also is if you take into account the number of homeschooled kids, and if you take into account uh, the number of um, uh, uh, private uh, school kids, and you take into account the shrinkage of the, uh, just the number of kids, there's still a lot of kids missing. There's still a real puzzle as to where the other kids are. Uh, for example, between 2019 and 2020, and 2021, 22 in California, K through 12 enrollment fell by roughly 271,000. Some of these losses can be attributed to corresponding declines in the state school age population because people leaving and because people having fewer kids. Um, some of it can be attributed to people enrolling their kids in private education or in homeschooling. <laughs> but that leaves 150,000 kids that are unaccounted for. That is, there's still a hole of 150,000 kids, they either just not going to school and nobody knows about it and nobody seems to care, or that are being homeschooled without registering with the state or having left the state without being tracked. But there is a real shortage, for example, in California, but this is nationwide. There is a big gap 
between the number of kids that are accounted for and the number of kids that are supposed to be accounted for. So kids in the United States from schools have gone missing. But this is also, I think, more of an expression of the lack of faith and lack of trust that uh, American parents have in our government schools. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.